Hey boo hey, it's your girl Diva and I'm here again with another message. So excited to bring you this. Listen, I was hearing that you guys are dealing with people who are very ungrateful. You have been helping them all their lives or you've been helping them all this time. And since you said no and you told them I can't help you this time. Now I can't let you borrow this this time. Now they want to throw you under the bus and make you feel bad about saying no. See, we can't have people in our circle like that. What they say, keep them squares out of your circle. And that's exactly what we got to do, honey, because they're not even grateful. You're dealing with people that are very ungrateful and they're not happy with what you said or how you're acting with them. Maybe you even ghosted them because you're tired of them asking you for stuff or asking you to do something for them, but they never around when you need them. They never around when you need help from them. They're never around. So now let's talk about this. Remember in the Bible, when Martha and Jesus, remember they had this conversation beforehand, Martha and Mary went to Jesus and told them that something's going on with Lazarus. He's dying. You know, we need your help. You need to come. But Jesus himself told them, look, I need to take a couple of days off. I'm tired. I'm about, to, you know, he just rested for two days. And then he finally went when he went back to go see Lazarus. Martha told him, see, if you would have been here, None of this would have happened. That's the type of thing that can happen with people. See, Jesus has been helping Martha and Mary for a long time. He'd been there for them. They was cool as ever. He had them in their circle, period. They was a part of the circle. But Martha wanted to go off on Yeshua talking crazy. Like, if you would have been here, none of this would have happened. And this right here I'm referencing to, this is in John 11. If you guys want to check it out, John and 11, you can read from, yeah, read the whole chapter. Yeah, read the whole chapter. But you're dealing with people like this. And when you're dealing with people like this, you just, I'm telling you, you can't even be like that. You can't be doing what they're doing. You just don't, don't even go to that level. Don't stoop to that level because you don't pass that level. You know that you've been a good person and you know that you've been benefiting from them. You've been helping them out for the longest, but now you said no or wait till next month or wait till another time. But now they can't wait. They're upset with you because you weren't right there for them at the moment when they needed it. That's just what it is. It is what it is. So let's go ahead and start off with prayer and then we're going to dive deeper into this message. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you. I ask that you use me as your vessel. Allow your Holy Spirit to come through, touch the people that are watching and help them to be blessed by this message and also bless them with peace, love and joy. Lord, we thank you for your grace and your mercy that follows us all the days of our lives. So continue to bless us and protect us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. Type amen in the comments, guys. <laughs> Type amen, honey. Okay. All right, so since you're dealing with this person, you know, many of you guys are dealing, these are people that are your family members that you, they feel obligated that you're supposed to help them out because they know that you have a lot of money or you have a lot that you can offer. You got a lot of pool. You, you, you just got it. And they're depending on you. These are people that are codependent upon you. And there's so many things that I can say about people that are codependent. They really don't depend on themselves. They don't depend on God. And that's what we're supposed to do, depend on the Lord to provide for us instead of always asking, always asking one person. It's like you're the only person they ever come to. Like, why just me? Do you ever ask anybody else? Do you ever ask your friends? Do you ever ask anyone else? Go ask somebody else. What they say, get somebody else to do it, period. So I'm just saying, you're the only one that they come to. And they're trying to take advantage of you. Sometimes people will use you that way and it will start to begin to look like you're not receiving your blessings like you used to or your money's not growing the way that it used to or you're not happy or peaceful as you used to be because you're helping the wrong people. You also have to pray about if you should help a person. You got to pray about that too. I mean, because we pray about everything else. Pray if you should give. You can pray that, you know, we know it's a good thing to do. But is it a good thing to do to, with that person or that particular person? That's the question because some people will take advantage of you and, and they will walk all over you and have you looking crazy. Everybody else telling that she crazy for giving that person out. Just keep giving them money or just keep doing for them. And all they're doing is using them because people will manipulate you and use you. There are many people who will be there and help you as well. Thank God for them folks, okay? But these right here, them the kind you got to watch, you got to be mindful of, and you definitely got to pray. You got to be prayerful at all times and ask God if you should help them in the first place. You don't want to see your finances begin to diminish. You don't want to see things in your life begin to turn for the worse. See, the Bible says to sow your seeds in fertile ground. 
If you sow them in fertile ground, you know it's going to grow. You know it's going to come back to you. So you have to make sure that you're actually blessing people who are actually praying for you. Because people can take your money and be like, not even try to pray or they may even curse you. I mean, it's just as simple as that. It, it works. People do that. People do that. So you got to be mindful of that. I just don't want y'all to get hurt from helping people that are not really there for you when it's your time because they will definitely take advantage of you. So if you're dealing with this type of person, the thing for you to do is to pray about it. You want to pray first. That's the first thing, first and foremost, to pray about that situation. Knowing that you've been a good and humble and gentle person, you've been a very good blessing to these people. See, I learned a long time ago that you can't help everybody. You People will try to run all over you. I used to give to people so much. I used to encourage them all the time and just like do everything. I would go all out. So you can go over and above and beyond to help other people. And I realized it got to the point to where I would see when it was time for me and I needed to some I needed someone to talk to or I needed a helping hand. I asked for something. Oh, I don't have it. Oh, I can't do it. You know, and it's just not that same in return. Nothing goes equal. See, that's when you're unequally yoked with a person. You can be un unequally yoked with a friend, with a family member. They're not going to reciprocate that same energy that you're giving them when it comes to you helping them. And we're not trying to do that. You better tell them, bye, boy, bye. Type in the comments, boy, bye, <laughs> period. I don't care if they're a girl or boy. <laughs> but my thing is, I love the fact that God sends people our way when we begin to pray. We have to ask God to send us people who are humble, people who are blessing to us, who will bless us when we bless them. And, you know, vice versa. Because you will attract people that will try to suck the energy and suck the life out of you. Take away your wealth. They will want to take away from you. And I know a lot of you guys know this because if you ever became successful if you ever became a person who has it well off and people start to see you flourishing they will ask you for something they're gonna ask you for some of your time they will see that okay maybe you just got a lover and you just start falling in love all of a sudden now everybody's saying oh you don't talk to us that much no more you don't even do this no more they start to be ungrateful they don't understand they're not looking at the times you was there for them they're not looking at the times that you, when, you, when they was crying and things were going wrong with them, you was always there for them. But now they're trying to bash you because you're taking that time for yourself to love yourself, to gain love. They don't understand that. See, that's, those are the type of people you do not want to associate yourself with or you need to be praying for them. One, I don't know what you need to do, baby, but it's something about that that's not correct. It, it just don't sit right with me. It don't sit right with the word either, okay? Because it says so on fertile ground. And they not fertile. They dry as elbow. <laughs> they dry as elbow. But at the end of the day, talking about how Martha was going off on Jesus. Like, if you would have been here, none of this would have happened. You know, and they blame you. They try to do the blame game. They try to blame you of everything because you didn't do this. See, if you would have helped me or if you would have talked to me that day, I, none of this would have happened. You know, they try to go off. You know, but we're not going to let them go off on us. We, mm -mm. We, too, we better than that. <laughs> Type in the comments, I'm better than that. I'm better than that. But Jesus went to Lazarus and he went and woke him up. He said, Lazarus is not dead. He is actually just sleeping. He tried to tell her the first time, but she didn't want to listen. She didn't want to listen. See, that's the same thing. If they're asking you for stuff and you're like, um, wait till another time, I'll give it to you. They don't want to hear that. They want it right then. They don't want to wait. They don't want to be patient when it comes to you because they know that you're always quick to give to them. But the minute you say, no, nah, not this week. No, nah, not this month. I can't talk right now. I'm busy. Then they start to act all weird like you telling you you tripping, you know. But the whole time, you could they could have easily been patient and still ended up receiving what they asked for from you. They could have had your time. They could You could have been there for them. But not at that moment because you maybe you have to take care of yourself. So you want to always take care of you. If you're not taking care of you, how are you going to take care of everybody else? If you're giving everybody all the things that you they need and you're giving them your time, your compassion, your love, your motivation, telling, you know, just encouraging them, you know, when they ask for a helping hand, you do it. You, I mean, it's just, you know. You got to take care of you too. You first, then them. 
you first and then them follow the rules follow the fall in line fall in line i'm just saying so i just wanted to encourage you guys that you know whatever's going on in your situation and how they're acting with you in the way that you're they're treating you they may be going behind your back telling everybody that you told them no that you you acting funny you acting weird and everybody looking at, at you upside your head and you wondering what's going on whatever it is don't even let that bother you baby don't even let them get to you because i promise you they gonna remember all the times that you helped them and they gonna wish they would have just been patient they're gonna wish that they were actually there for you during the times you needed them they gonna look back at that it's gonna slowly creep into their mind and gonna say dang that was a good person they really was loyal but now it's too late okay now it's a little bit too late so anyway thank you guys for watching please be sure to like comment and subscribe share the video and look for real share the video because other people need to hear this you know everybody be going through stuff like this baby everybody need to hear this be encouraged be a blessing to somebody but also sow your seeds into fertile ground period